Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at a motorhome that's under 32 feet long that also gives you an outside kitchen. This is the all new 2021 Coachman Murata Model 32 SS. We are gonna give take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited to be showing you this 2021 Murata 32SS with the outside kitchen. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hey everyone! How's it going? It's going good. Matt, didn't we just do this like two weeks ago, this Murata? No, we did a different Murata with bunk beds. That's oh, the problem. So look, okay. we just got back from Jacksonville and tomorrow uh, looks like we're gonna have to make trips down to Tampa because this was the only unit left that we haven't done. So. We're out of inventory, y'all. <laughs> Literally. So yeah, we'll, we'll be going down to Tampa. Everybody, leave down some comments below if you have some, um, if there's some units at Tampa, look on General RV's website. If there's some units at Tampa you want me to review specifically, make sure you leave that in the comments below and we'll make sure we hit it over the next couple days. So let's begin. Model is 32 SS, but the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 34 feet, 10 inches. This is the Coachman Murata, and I absolutely love the new design that they started in 2020 part two with this new look. I love the headlights. I love the front grill. There's no body paint, but there's a little body paint, right? You know what I'm saying? And it just makes it look good at a really nice price point motorhome. Because this is a 2021, it does have the new Ford 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla <laughs> engine. Um, 350 horsepower with 460 foot pounds of torque this thing is a beast up front here we do have mirrors left side and right side of course <laughs> of course they're mirrors and you got your cameras on your left side and right side and also reverse look at these tires andre they're the goodyear tires 245-70 r 19.5 oh and look at this you see a nickel you pick it up <laughs> coming down the side here we got frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome you have a nice power awning with LED lights. Andrea, let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Dang! Not one, but two awnings with LED lights. I love that. This awning right here does have speakers in the side. Man, that's super nice, huh, Andrea? Yeah, and they'll see why in just a minute. Yep. Right here, we got your TV on the outside, entertainment center. Because this is a Coachman motorhome, they do use the Asdale sidewall composites, which is a green-based material that will never delaminate on you. And look at this storage, Andrea. Nice. Very and nice. There's your inverter, guys. Yep. 2,000 watt inverter. Um, 1,200 watt oh, inverter. Oh, sorry. 1,200 watt sorry, inverter. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. No problem. Damn, these damn same lines, George. All right. Right here, this is your propane tank. And Andrea, we will have all the tank sizes about this motorhome. The lengths, the widths, the specs, everything down in the description below. Also right here, bing, for everybody to watch on television. And then right here, we do have power on the outside. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We got some storage right there. Not bad. That's a little bit windy. You know what that is? That's that hurricane that's about to hit us. I know. You can feel, I feel the hurricane coming. Right there is your propane quick connect. And this is what makes this motorhome awesome. And that's why we have the awning up here, guys. Oh yeah, very nice, very nice. You have a sink outside, fridge outside, some storage outside. No cooktop or stovetop, but I'm fine with that because again, most of the time people are going to be grilling out anyway. And you got your propane quick connect right there. It's in here. Very nice. It's a drawer. Ah, Soft close. See that fridge? That's a good size fridge. It's fancy. I like it. 
I do like the sink is plumb through. Yep, very nice. All right. Now, Andrea, a lot of times when people get outside kitchens and motorhomes, it takes away from their storage. What I like about this motorhome is look at this. Nice. You still get incredible outside storage from the outside. I absolutely love that. It's just a great feature. I love the same latch doors. Great, coming around the back. No bumper for your stinky slinky. You do have your fuel fill up in the rear. I love that. So you can access it on both sides. You got your backup camera right here. 8,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can't tow 8,000 pounds. You're good at 5,000 pounds. Any more than 5,000 pounds, you need to watch how much you load up inside the motorhome before you tow anything. Um, and you do have a ladder to get, to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. I sure hope you did your stretches. I sure did. Here we go now. Hold on. Okay, up here on the roof, you can see this is a nice one piece fiberglass roof. We have not one, but two uh, air conditioning units. I absolutely love that. Right there's your King Air digital antenna. And then right here, you can see that it already has a solar panel on the roof. Take your time, please. Here we go now. Oh, great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. We're the RV salesman school to take his fat ass up on the roof, show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. All right, let's finish up with the driver's side. Right here, we have a little bit more storage. This is where you keep your 50 amp power cord and your auto transfer switch. Over here, we got a little bit more storage. Okay. Right, this storage is incredible. It is. Right here is your water heater. It's a 10 gallon DSI water heater and they kept it black. Wow, Wish they didn't wow. do that. Look at this, beautiful. I absolutely love it. Here's your wet bay, outdoor shower, water filtration system, sewer flush, everything. <laughs> right here's your Cummins Onan 5500 generator. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> a little bit more storage. And then right here, this is not a storage compartment, but you can see your auto leveling and everything right there. Nice. Well, Andrea, the outside, of this motorhome looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Oh, After you. Right. Okay. Oh, it feels nice in here. Wow. All right. Cargo okay. carry capacity, 2,750 pounds. That's pretty good. That's pretty all right. Guys, as you can see right here, um, it is little to get by, but doable. And because the bathroom is, the door is like this, you can get to the bathroom. But like I said, it is a little fit. And I'm probably gonna have Matt try to get through here. Here is the bedroom. I already got through. The bed is not on a slide. Yep. And while the slide outs are coming out, I have a huge favor to ask everyone. If you could leave down the comments, please, 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 leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about the Coachman Murata and three things you don't like about it. We do know Coachman reads the comments and so uh, your, your opinion really does matter and it's going to be awesome. Oh, and Andrea, also big announcement. Um, if, if everybody knows my friends Will and Jen, they helped start the channel with me. Uh, at the end of this month, me, Will, and Jen, we're going up to uh, Indiana for a few days, and we're going to be touring the Coachman um, factory. We're going to be checking out some other manufacturers and stuff, so it's going to be pretty exciting. Oh, and guess what? We're going to take out the RV Hall of Fame as well. <laughs> maybe I'll be there. No, maybe we'll be there one day, Andrea. Aww, that would be awesome. We're the found. We're the founders of the YouTube generation. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, so up here, the new cockpit area. I love this, right? Modern steering wheel, push button start, cruise control, how many miles to empty, how many gallons per mile you're getting. Your auto leveling's right here. You have your lights control. I love the screen right there. It has Sirius XM radio, Android auto, and Apple CarPlay, okay? 
You put your left blinker on, you can see crystal clear down the side. Right blinker on, yep, and then reverse. Andrea, we sit my co-captain seat? Sure. Camera, USB, very nice. This is awesome. Yep, I love the tray. Very important. Yep, and then you got cup holders here. And then above, we do have storage above. Cabinetry. Cabinetry, yes ma'am. We also have a bunk over the cab. Let's take a look at that. bunk over the cab it holds 500 pounds and as Andrea always likes to say she really likes the netting that they do the safety um, netting yep safety netting that's a nice feature I like the flooring in here yeah the flooring is nice all right so over here in the living area as Andrea said the seats do swivel I love that right here look this is so nice <laughs> You have your dinette right here. Again, Coachman's for for this season or year or whatever. They're doing the the contrasting colors, and I think it looks great. It does drop down to make a bed. Over here, you have a nice big window with privacy blinds, not daytime blinds. Again, try to keep the price point down, but with the frameless windows, you do have the screen. Also, there is storage underneath both dinettes. That's great. Soft clothes. Soft clothes. Then check this out over here, I Andrea. I love that big sofa. A huge sofa. Nice big three-seater sofa with a chase lounge. Do you know what that is? Yes. Well, it's... say no, say no. No, no, I don't know what it is. Well, let me show you, <laughs> Andrea. Thanks so much. So check this out. This goes like this. Oh, fancy. <laughs> Only the fanciest. Wow. So they're getting really with the modern furniture. I like that. Well, I think I demonstrate I it. Demonstrate well, it. Actually, I think I did demonstrate this before and I just forgot I had this. Well, demonstrate it again. Okay. Yes. That is nice. This would be my spot if we had this. And so a lot of times with the L-shaped sofas, Andrea, it gives you a jackknife bed. Yes. Where this one's still a trifle. Oh, I know. Look, I can tell. Yep. Awesome, you guys. That's a big deal. It is a big deal. I like that a lot. And then we have storage above. Great. But what I'm an even bigger fan of, Andrea, is that the sofa is directly across from your television. Nice. I'm a huge fan of that. You got your TV, your fireplace right there. Now, that fireplace does produce heat. And then here's your panels and everything. And then let me show you guys this. This is very easy to put back up. And there's a little trick. You have to kind of pull your hand like this to push it in. Cool, very easy. I think that's great that they did that. Yep. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome here is $162,673 MSRP. Wow. So this is a 2021, but even though it is, we still have it at 31% off. That's a $50,000 discount to $112,995. That is a phenomenal price. But Andrea, as great as that price is, we can get customers an even better price than that. Tell everybody how to do that. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or 
MattsRVReviews.gmail.com or check out the website MattsRVReviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page on the website. Andrea, let's continue the video. All right, so here we go. Oh, this, I forgot, this is one of my favorite kitchens. Yes. And I'll tell everybody why. So look at this, this is great. I love this solid surface countertop. Uh -huh. Love the color, I've said that before. Nice cabinetry in here. Yes, ma'am. We got, I like how, I, I like the balance. I like that big here. window. Me too. Now, guys, look at this farmhouse sink. Beautiful. Burr, 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 burr. Can you check out the front of it? Yes. I wish they would, other manufacturers would start doing this as well. But this is great. But honestly, we don't want them all doing the same no, thing. No, but it, it'd be nice to see it on some more. Yeah, for but sure. It, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. We got the soft clothes. Drawers. Yeah, two of them. Yes, ma'am. Got a cabinet under here. For Very little nice. Little tiny trash can. What do you mean tiny? We got three drawers. One, two, oh, three. and three. Nice. All right, got a cabinet up here above. The wow, oh, is look at that. Convection oven. What? Yeah. Is it? It is. That's metal. Oh my gosh. Wonder why they did that. Because it's awesome. Check That's out. why. Oh, look at this is pretty. I love that color. It's like a blue it looks, steel. It looks good, you know. Their coachman is oh, they do a good job. They do. All right, we got a three burner cooktop with glass cover. Yes, ma'am. And then you get an oven in here too. Magic chef. Magic chef. I love magic chef. Flip it all the way up. The Ooh. <laughs> Check out that. All right, fridge. We got a presidential fridge. Yep, it's one of the skinnier fridges. I like that. Wow, guys, look at this. Now this Very will nice. run off your inverter. Yep. Matt, is this this is a normal size residential, right? Nope, it's a little bit skinnier, which is nice because it, it makes it, like it so it gets in and out easier. Oh, and we have an opening up there for our fan. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. Yep, and then why don't you show us what's going on over here in the pantry slash excess storage area. Okay, so, oh. wow, that's different. Then we got four more drawers here. Is that supposed to be pantry, really? It could be whatever you want it to be. Mm. It's a motor home. I love how, look how big these drawers are. Oh yeah, very, very nice. big. So uh, this is a wardrobe or storage, yep. whatever wardrobe. you want to use it for. Yep. All right. All right, it's time to check out this bathroom. The weird door again. Uh-oh. Oh, Matt's favorite kind of shower. <laughs> Not mine. It's kind of weird that it, they put that type in here, huh? Yeah, I literally would not buy this motorhome because of the shower. Yeah, Matt does not like that shower. I'm not a fan of these showers. I like them. That's just me. I like how they have a lot of space right there. See the yep. mirror? Yep. Got the sink, got a cabinet underneath. Got a cabinet over there. Matt, pull that open. And you got a fan up there. Fantastic. And the toilet is kind of catty corner. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> porcelain. It's porcelain. Um, it works for me because we're short. But if you're tall, your leg's going to hit that. I can't do it. Not a prime pooping position. Womp, womp. Womp, womp. <laughs> Okie dokie, and I hate these doors. I know, they are weird. It's got a pocket door in the bedroom. Pocket door for the bedroom, yep. In the bedroom, Andrea, look. Over here. Oh. <laughs> it's Art Deco. I've seen that somewhere else It's before. Art Deco. They no. put them in all the Mirage. I know, it's it's not Art Deco, babe. I'm um, sorry. Okay. Okay. Over here, look at this, king size bed. I love this. We have storage beside it. Storage above it, okay. You I'll got a little that. drawer right here, little countertop area, and then right up here, it has the coach pap system, which is a great place for your CPAP machine. Very nice. And then, is there storage let me show. The bed? Let me show this over here real quick. I love that they give you these these spacious nightstands with the drawers. 
And then on this side, you have another wardrobe. Very nice. And under the bed. That's good storage. Wow, that's pretty good. That's good storage. And you know what, Matt? There What's is. That? I like how there's a lot of room to walk around in here. Yep, absolutely. Then we got a TV with, with storage, storage behind. No window. Nope, no window. We got drawers. Six drawers, wow. Yep, big drawers. That's great. Those are really huge. This is really nice for a lot of clothes. It is, stuff. and you know what? I was, you know, that is just amazing how they made that. Like, yep. just the space in there. Yep. Well, wow. as nice as it is, Andrea, and as great as it is, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Let's do three things that we like about it. Okay. First, I'm going to say. Yeah. Out of all these things, I can pick anything. Okay, I'm gonna end with that. So, here's my first thing I like. I absolutely love this long three-seater sofa. I like the placement, I like how it has the chase lounge, and I like how it still makes a tri-fold bed, and I like how many seats it has. It's really nice and accommodating, and I'm a huge fan of that. So that's one. Andrea, too. I love how much space there is in this room. Okay. Uh, I like that there's room to walk around. Yes, ma'am. You know, I'm not like trying to get in here like this, and yep. I don't need to worry about being scrunched up trying to change my clothes. I understand. I love it. It is pretty good space. And it has a king size bed. Especially for being only one slide out, one yes. full wall slide out. So that's pretty nice. And then number three thing I love about this motorhome. I'm going to combo it, Andrea. I'm going to say the double awning, because two awnings are always better than one. But I love the outside kitchen. You know, any motor, anytime a motorhome gives you an outside kitchen, I'm a really big fan of it, because it's awesome, and you just don't get that a lot on motorhomes. It's very true. And rumor has it, Andrea, <laughs> little rumor, that Coachman's coming out with a diesel motorhome that gives you an outside kitchen. What? Which, th hopefully they'll have that ready by the time we're up in Indiana. Oh, that'll be awesome. That will be awesome. So that's three things we love about it. Now, it's time for three things we hate about this motorhome. Bum, bum, bum. You wanna go first? I, I'll go first. You go first. Okay. You're the boss. So, there's not a, too much I dislike about it. And I think we, I don't know if we commented before about this or not. Uh, I just, I'm not a fan of it, you know? Yep, I concur. I concur. You know what I'm gonna yes. do? You know what I'm gonna do? What? Hang on. For the first time ever in Matt's RV Reviews history, who the heck's calling me? Somebody wants FaceTime me. Hang on a second. Hi. Hey! Hello, sir. How are you? We're making a video right now. Hi. <laughs> say hi, say hi to America. I was actually watching your video. Oh, nice. that's the old one. <laughs> hey, wonderful. Let me call you back. Oh, hello. Hi. No problem. Call me back whenever. Yep, I'll call you back when we're done recording. Okay. All right. Bye. Well, thank you. Call me, text me, send me an email, or give me a FaceTime. <laughs> okay. So the first time in Matt's RV Reviews history, here's what we're doing. You ready? I'm designating one zone to everything that I don't like about the motorhome. Yeah, that's right here. So uh -oh. Andrea said it number one. I just, I hate, I, I hate everything about the bathroom. I just don't like it. It's not me. Might be for you. It's not for me. I don't like that shower. I, I just, that's it. The whole thing is that a little extreme? Feel, no, it doesn't feel comfortable. It's it's they've done so well on this whole motorhome that I just wish they did a better job with the bathroom. You know, again, I just like bigger showers. It should have been a bigger shower. It should have been a more radius shower and everything. Actually, you know what? I lied. I'm gonna add one more thing because we can do that. This should have been prepped for a washer dryer, at least a combo, just to give somebody that option. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't need to put a washer dryer in it, but just the plumbing so somebody could have. You know what I'm saying? I agree. But 
don't worry, if you go up to the Encore, uh, Encore is the same floor plan, the 325SS, and it is prepped for a stackable washer dryer. But that's it, Andrea, that's the review. Thank you everyone so much for watching. If you have any questions about this motorhome, please call me, text me, send me an email, or FaceTime, 301-906-0962, or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com, or check out the website, mattsrvreviews.com. Again, you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Andrea, do you have anything you want to say? Yes! Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Um, Coachman does read the comments and they watch our videos, so we value all your feedback. Also, I hope you guys are staying safe and you guys are well. Also, let us know what you want us to record in Tampa. Oh, yes. So, because we are going to be going yes. over there to, over the next couple days. Yep, leave that in the comments below. Leave that in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Andrea, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.